making a little, vid a little video here of FT8. I just made contact with a station here. Um, he's W4CHI and FM05. Um, there are some of the people that's, you can see how fast this thing is. You can see the uh, JT alert up there. <clears throat> with JT alert, you can, uh, if you got already worked the station before, it's going to let you know, Sierra's a, here I am in contact right here. I'm in contact with this guy right here. And he shows up on this side, the board over here. This is uh, the receive frequency. And um, I'll show you when it transmits here. Okay, we're in the transmit mode. You see there, we're putting out about, let me, uh, about 35 watts, maybe 30 watts. There it is on the board. Transmitting about 30 watts. And look here, we logged the station here. We're going to go over here now. We have to hit the log, log the station here. Now go back over here and initialize it right here. Now that, see, I'm back on the transmit. I just logged him in. It's now looking for another call. We'll see how long it takes before we get another call at 25 or 30 watts. This FT8 is a... Uh, I'm operating a, a ICOM 7300. Uh, I, I, I said, yeah, I, ICOM IC 7300. And uh, I'm running it on a USB cable and no, um, no uh, interface of any kind. And uh, I'll show you some of the settings we got in here. We'll go over here on, on settings. I thought we would get another station here. Uh, it'll, It'll take care of itself over there. I'll show you when another one shows up. We'll go look at some of the settings here under file. I'm running the mouse with my left hand. I'm running the camera with my right hand, so everything is so backwards for me. Um, there's what it looks like under the settings are under general, just general settings. And you can see some of the check marks where I've got them. These are things that seem to work for me. On my computer, I'm around running a Dell desktop computer and, um, and a USB cable. So let's go over and look at the radio. As you can see, it's a IC7300. That's some of the parameters I'm working with. And yours is going to be different, you know, whatever computer you're using. But all these things over here, as you can see, I'm running CAT, uh, none. Looks like I'm faking it here. And see right now it's testing the uh, see now see the test just went off at when it's uh, you're pushed to talk um, that it's a pretty neat deal and here's something that's important here uh, make sure you look at the audio on the if you're doing the USB cable you're going to be picking up your speakers let me go over here and log this call here here we go uh oh let me get rid of this first now I can go back over here and log this and get my transmit back, get my transmitter going, so it'll, it'll, look, it'll go and look for another call. That station we just worked, uh, that station we just worked is um, 403 miles from me, it's called, as you can see it's called right here, AE8S. Um, he's just three, uh, 403 miles from me. And here's some of the settings over here. Anyhow, I hope this has been a help to those that, um, this is what we call JT Alert right here, as you can see. And that's the waterfalls here. You, you can see where everybody's clustered up there. We used to call that a cluster, um, cluster fudge. Yeah, yeah, that's what, that's what we used to call it, cluster fudge. <laughs> you see sometimes, there's my transmit and receive right here. But sometimes a receiver be way off over here or way down here. Um, it just boggles the imagination. All right. I hope this has helped. 7-3 from November 4, Delta Romeo Romeo.